Access has a cool little feature that allows it to integrate with the Outlook 2010 program. First of all, what's Outlook? Well, to oversimplify, Outlook is an email program where you can send and receive emails, but it's so much more. To learn more about it, I recommend that you watch my Outlook 2010 training videos. But some of the other things that Outlook can do is that you can create contacts and store them in your address book. You know, things that you want to keep track of, like a client's name, their address, phone number, emails. Also, it has a calendar where you can go ahead and schedule appointments and tasks, where you can create tasks, assign them to other people if you'd like. In any case, how it's going to integrate here with Access is that we're going to be using what are called Smart Tags or Outlook Smart Tags that when you click in a field, it's going to display a little tag with a list of actions that I can click on and some of the actions will be to send an email, also to be able to add this uh, customer name as a contact. And I can think of two reasons why I want to do this or why I want to integrate this with Outlook is because I can send an email right here just by, again, clicking on that Smart Tag for each customer. In addition to that, that when I add them as a contact in Outlook, I can keep track of notes that are more personable for each customer here that not everybody hopefully has access to, as opposed to a database where if it's on the server, everybody will be able to read the notes here. But on a more personal level, I can go ahead and write additional notes for that contact in my Outlook address book. So to go ahead and add a little smart tag to uh, the customer name for all these uh, customers, let me go ahead and right click, go to the design view, Select the customer name field up above and then down below in its corresponding field properties. Click in the Smart Tags cell and then over to the right click on its corresponding build button. And then you have a list of available action tags. You've got the date, select it, and it lists the actions for that tag down below where you can schedule a meeting, show my calendar, again integrating with Outlook. We have the telephone number. The action is just to uh, add this to the contacts. In any case, I want to select person name, check it. And the actions here is that it'll allow me to send an email, schedule a meeting, open the contact, and if I don't have the contact, then I can go ahead and add that contact to the address book in Outlook. Go ahead and click OK. Be sure to save my work. Click on the View button, and there we go. You see those little uh, purple triangles in the bottom right-hand corner of all the uh, customers in the customer name field? When you hover over it, it gives you a little eye that pops up for information. Hover over that and it says, okay, I'm a smart tag and I've got some actions that if you click on the drop down arrow, I'll list those actions for you. You can go ahead and send an email, schedule a meeting. Again, the list that we just saw in the design view. Now, I can't send an email if I don't have them as a contact in my address book. So if I don't have them, go ahead and click on add to contacts. You can go ahead and click on open contact. And if this customer isn't there, it'll say, I can't find it. So I'll click OK, try it again, hover over the uh, smart tag, click on the drop down arrow, click add to contacts, and there we go. Now how do I know which program I'm in? Well look at the file tab, it's orange, that's for Outlook, as opposed to the purple tab for Access. So I'm in an entirely different program here, out of Access, it's the Outlook 2010 program. Got Mountain Camping, let's go ahead and type in an email address here. And then, of course, you can go ahead and add their business phone numbers, home phone numbers, uh, street address, personal notes that you can keep separate outside of the database notes when you're done. Go ahead and click Save and Close, and that's it. Now that you have the contact added to your address book in Outlook and also the email address, I can just come up here at any time, click on the drop-down arrow, and say I want to send them an email. Again, we've got the orange tag here, so it opened up Outlook to where I can go ahead and compose an email here. It's got Mountain Camping. It doesn't have the email address, but that's okay. Just be sure that you added it to the contact. It's going to list by default just the name of the contact. But when I click Send, it'll actually go ahead and uh, look for the email address for the contact and uh, send that off or give it a second while it thinks about it and then it brings it in. Go ahead and type in the subject. Hi, just want boo. And then go ahead and click Send. Now, depending upon your Outlook settings, it might shoot it off. Mine doesn't. I have to come down here, click on the Start button, go up here to open up the Outlook program. And it's sitting in the Out box until I open it up, and then give it a couple of seconds, then it'll shoot it off. Okay, it sent it. Great. That's it. And then if I need to go ahead and make changes, add some more information to that contact, again, hover over the cell there to bring up that little smart tag, click on the drop-down arrow, open up the contact here, make changes when I'm done. Save and close. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos.
and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.